still several weeks of school left, but the Tulsa Parks Department is already gearing up for its summer water program. Two News reporter Brennan Richard is live at Whiteside Park in Midtown with a preview of what's in store for the kiddos this summer. Brandon? Well, Marla, I don't know about you, but I could definitely go for a swim right now, but I don't think it's going to work out for me very much because, number one, I'm just overdressed. Number two, I couldn't really go and swim in this pool behind me because I'm too old, I'm too tall, it's locked, and there's no water in it, but there will be water in it on June 2nd. I promise that's the date when this pool, along with four others like it, will open. Now, of course, in recent years, there's been much concern about whether the city could afford to open in all of its public pools. Since 2004, the city's had to rely on private donations and corporate sponsorships to keep these pools open. This year, the city's budget situation has improved, meaning that for the first time in eight years, the pools will be completely funded by the city. If nothing else, when there's nothing else to do, you can always go swimming. Whether it's uh, going to play in a water playground or a splash pad or just hanging out at the pool, it's just a great way to spend the summer. Now, the pools that will be opening on June 2nd are the same ones that opened last year. McLaur, Reed, Lacey, Berry, and Whiteside. The city will also have 10 water playgrounds opening this summer, and we're told those will be open by Memorial Day. Live in Midtown, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. Thank you, Brandon. Coming up in our consumer news, details on pool safety for kids. Parents, what you need to know, that's coming up. Well, today is Oklahoma's 10th 